Hi friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library, and Brill and I are here today to talk to you about some really exciting books that we think you might enjoy. Now today I actually wanted to focus on one specific author. She's only written three books and they're all just magnificent. So her name is Donna Tart, and the first book I want to talk about that she's written is called The Little Friend by Donna Tart. Now this is a little uh, bit of an ominous cover. Um, because it has a little bit to do with a murder mystery. So the main character of this book is a girl named Harriet, this super precocious young girl whose brother was actually murdered when he was really young. And she has taken it upon herself to find the murderer. She is just convinced that it's somebody from town, this little town that they live in, um, in Mississippi. And she's convinced that they're there and she is going to be the one to track them down. Now, the murder has always gone unsolved, so why she thinks she's going to be the one to do it, I don't know. But her and her friend just are scouring the town for any kind of clues, even though it's happened years ago. And she comes across all these issues of race and class divide. And um, it's just absolutely amazing. This book is phenomenal, and it has to do with small towns and the things, the dark things that happen in them. Um that we may not want to talk about has to do with family and it's just absolutely fantastic this book the little friend i would probably say if you haven't read any of her books i would start with this one um it's her least famous one i feel like but it's still really really good the little friend the next book may sound familiar also by donna tar it's called the goldfinch now, the reason I say this may sound familiar is because there was a movie that came out, I think a year or two ago, um, based on this book. I haven't seen it. It didn't get really great reviews, but I know the actors that were in it were pretty good, so you have to watch it for yourself and see. Um, but the book, which I have read a few times, is absolutely phenomenal. Yes, it's really big. It is a really thick book, um, but it's completely worth it. The thing that I really like most about Donna Tartt's writing is that she is definitely very character driven. You will know these characters inside and out and you will know everything about them and you're going to come away from her books feeling like you know them, that they're actually people in your real life that you know. And the same definitely can be held true for this one, The Goldfinch. So this one is about a young boy named Theo who lives in New York with his mother and there is a horrific um, accident that takes her life but leaves him alive. Um, the one thing that he holds on to to remind him of her is this little tiny painting called the goldfinch. And you can see a little bit of it on the cover but they also put a reproduction of it in here for you which is really nice. Um, and he holds on to this painting because it's the only thing that reminds him of his mother. He lives, he moves in with people in New York and then he ends up having to go out to Nevada to live with his father, who's a little bit of a deadbeat and her, and her, his, um, wife. And he gets caught up as he gets older into this seedy underground, um, arts, like artwork trading black on the black market and selling things like that, stolen pieces of art. Um, and it sounds like not a much of a story to be this big, but it, like I said before, it's very character driven. So you are going to know Theo inside and out, be in his head. Um, there's a lot of things about this book that I didn't know before I read it. A lot of stuff about art history and a lot of the things that go on with selling illegal art <laughs> or selling art illegally rather. And, um, this book is absolutely phenomenal. I, it's very near and dear to me. Um, it's not a very action packed book. Of course, there are things that happen. There's a lot of plot and things like that, but um, it's very, very much a character driven. So if you really like books that have strong characters and make you really feel for them, all of Donna Tartt's work is fantastic, but specifically The Goldfinch. Highly, highly recommend it. I can't recommend the movie because I haven't seen it, but maybe it's good. I don't know. And last but not least, this is actually my favorite of her books, and this is called The Secret History. This is actually her first book, um, came out in 1992, and it is about a group of um, college students who are very into the study of Greek, Greek language, Greek history, and it is about, it takes place on the college campus and is about the murder 
of one of the members of their group. And the way that this book starts off is super interesting because it tells you right away what happens. One of the characters is murdered by the other people in this group. And then it kind of builds up to what happened to get to that point throughout the story. Um, this was one of the books that is famous for sort of exploding into the, um, the subgenre of uh, dark, dark academia, which is like a subgenre of literary fiction that has to do with books that take place on college campuses that may have like mysterious or dark things going on with them. It's a really popular subgenre, and this is one of the books that cre that made it ooh, what it is. Um, so let me, I would actually just really like to read you the first couple lines and see if it hooks you the way it hooked me for the first time. The snow in the mountains was melting, and Bunny had been dead for several weeks before we came to understand the gravity of our situation. He'd been dead for ten days before they found him, you know. It was one of the biggest manhunts in Vermont history. State troopers, the FBI, even an army helicopter. It was difficult to believe that such an uproar took place over an act for which I was partially responsible. Even more difficult to believe I could have walked through it without incurring a blink of suspicion. But walking through it all was one thing. Walking away, unfortunately, has proved to be quite another so good I love that she starts the book that way it gets you really invested in it and you want to find out exactly what happened to make these characters do this what led up to it um, this is another book that is a very very character heavy book in that it's really more about the characters than anything else and what is going on in their minds and if you really like books like that I highly recommend it The Secret History well that is all of Donna Tartt's um, book history. She's only written the three so far but they're all absolutely magnificent. So if you're looking for a new author to jump into this year, something you haven't read before, something you want to try for the first time, I recommend this author. She's fantastic. All three of these books are available at the Farmington Community Library, so please feel free to put them on hold. You can pick them up during our curbside service hours and also um, we are open now to the public again, starting this week. So you can also come into the building and browse, pick these books up, maybe find some other books that are like them um, if you're interested. So thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful rest of the day.